So there comes a time, pretty much every day, every time I have a day off, where I get a little tired, I need a little siesta. Okay, I need to take a little nap. Oh my god. So I'm up here, I got my baby up here to cuddle with me this time. Mm -hmm. And I got some things on my mind. Alright, so if some of you have tuned in recently, I recently celebrated a birthday, right? Mm -hmm. I turned 29. 29, finally. 29, that's right. So I've been thinking a lot about turning 30, right? And I, I think that there's something I want to accomplish in my 29th year. I think it's important. I think every distinguished gentleman, I think I'm saying I think a lot, right? <laughs> but I think yeah. every distinct every distinguished gentleman, you get to a certain age. Where you should have a signature scent. And you know what? I think I need to work on my scent this year. I want a signature scent by the time I'm 30. So that's what you want to accomplish? For Th your 30th birthday? That's it. By the time you I'm 30. You want to have a signature scent. Signature scent. I want you to be able to smell my work clothes and be like, mm, that's my oh. baby. That's my okay. baby right there. I feel like it's a maturity thing, right? You dress differently. You should smell differently. <laughs> Right? You don't want to just not smell like anything. You don't, oh. be, you don't want to be the dude that doesn't smell like anything. That don't make no sense. You know what I mean? You don't want to be the dude that doesn't smell like anything? So yeah. you want to smell like something? I want to smell like something memorable. I want it to be memorable. Okay. okay. I, I want to linger. I want to linger in your nostrils. Okay. Because <laughs> right now, just, let's keep it real. You smell my work shirt, right? You might smell a little Old Spice body wash, right? <laughs> right? Uh, you might smell some pits depending oh. on the day. Okay. Right? You never know. I want to smell tasty. Can I smell tasty? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, as long as you smell clean, it's, we're all good. Clean. Okay, Let's well, smell now, clean. Uh, now you're making it seem like I don't smell clean I now. didn't say that. I'm just saying, like, it's just clean. Clean's fine. Oh, well, I think I'm accomplishing that. I hope <laughs> yeah. I am. I hope, I hope I'm accomplishing clean already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. but, but you are. All right, now, now, we, now I have some concerns. <laughs> I want to make it abundantly clear, okay? <laughs> I don't have an odor. No. I, didn't, no. I didn't say I need to work on my odor, right? I said I'm going to work on my scent. Right okay. now, I'm scentless. I'm scentless. Yeah, okay, he's scentless. Okay. Besides a little bit of coconut hibiscus. Yeah, but see, sometimes hey. when I smell that, right, even though I use it, I smell it. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's Mike. Right, Mike got the burnt sugar thing going on. <laughs> and, you know, and then you got you got a bunch of stuff. In. So what? I don't know no, whether it's me. Not. I don't know whether it's me or you or Mike. Like, I want to know, yeah, that's me. And I want everybody to know, that's me. I mean, you want to go cologne shopping? I want, yeah, I want to go scent shopping. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. absolutely. We have to put that on the list. Yeah, we can't I mean, go today, but I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I wanna... do. Hey, what you saying? You know, like when I'm like doing perfume shopping or body spray shopping, I can't really wear a lot of perfume. Yeah. Um, I do. I try to pick out things that you like. So I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, but you don't have a signature. You know I, don't. I, mean? I don't. I don't. Yeah. I'm going for a signature. I'm trying to lock in a scent. All right. So you see how he tried to say I have a whole bunch of scents going on in my hair. What does it smell like today? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my hair is jacked today. No joke, it's jacked. And every day, her hair is jacked. I find out about it. 50 <laughs> times a day, I find out my about hair how is jacked, jacked her today. hair is. I'm trying new stuff, and it's just not working out. Look at that set. Look at that lip. Look at this lip. Oh, <laughs> I'm serious. It's a mess. It's all flat. Look at it. You can hear it. Did you hear that? I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear y'all. It's a mess. What does it, it feel has. like? Does it feel dry? Maybe it's just my hands. It feels I dry. I think it feels dry. It feels dry. It's jacked. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, figure it out. No worries. Gosh. No Seriously. worries. Okay. So this morning we went to go get breakfast, and when we got back, I noticed that there was no gas in the car, but I had to run back out to ride eight. Right. But I didn't feel like getting gas today, so I told him that I was gonna move the van. And take the van instead of the car so I wouldn't have to get gas. So I don't understand. And he like got upset. I didn't get upset. Whoa, <laughs> time out. I don't understand why getting gas is such a big deal. For me, it's like I drive the car, it needs gas, I get gas. No, why is it a big deal? Yeah. All right, so he has a habit of leaving the car or van empty and then not getting gas, and then I have to fill up the next day. Okay, none of these. Then I like drive home mm -mm. with like no gas. None of these would hold true if she was hooked to a polygraph. Okay, what? It's not the truth. Yeah, it just truth. happened two days ago. No, I when you took the van, there was no gas in the van. <laughs> there was no gas in the van. It was like this much gas in the van. He goes to work, comes back home. I'm like, did you get gas? He's like, no. I'm like, how you? How did you get gas? See, I think I think she's overprotective of the needle. She's overprotective <laughs> of the gas tank. Because for me, right, like the gas light comes on. That's like, yo, dude. You probably need to get some gas, right? And that, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'll take your advice. So I trust like, you. I trust you, Mr. Orange Light. Yeah, I'll get some gas. Her, on the other hand, it starts getting two notches above the E. She's like, oh my gosh. I don't freak, freak out. out. No, oh I gosh. don't freak out. I just We're say, like, gas. I'm like, dude, you got like 25 miles left in 
this joint. You don't know. Nobody really knows how many miles you have once you're like one notch above the E. Yeah, well, let's agree. I'm, I'm closer to figuring it out than you. You are. don't really know. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the car was shut off. They did. You? Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, time out. It was a different car, and the no. gas light, the little light blew out. No. Right? You're right. right. You're right. He tried to push his limit. First of all, it was your 25? car. It was your car, Miss Ford. <laughs> that shit was me. What? So I think if it's like a notch or two above the E, you should get gas. Just as a precaution. You never know if you get stopped in traffic or something. Then what? <laughs> Look, I mean, don't I, leave me hanging like I, that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna say that's not a good point. That's not a good. I'm not gonna say it's not a good point. But I'm I tell you what, you know a lot about gas stations. They're everywhere. Okay. Until you actually need gas, and then they're nowhere. You're like, oh my gosh, I need gas. Yeah, but she's passionate about her gas. All right, real passionate about her gas. So now I know. Look, for me, it's like if I got enough for my next trip, that's how I do it. If I got enough for my next trip, I'm good. I get gas on my next trip. For her, it's like, oh, I'm gonna need gas on Wednesday. Oh my god, let me make sure I get gas today. It'd be like Sunday. It's like, no, you can wait till Tuesday. I to do get not gas. do that. To the point now where Gabriel will watch the gas tank and tell me when I get in the car, Daddy, we need gas. Gabe's two notches above the E. I'm like, yo, you gotta stop riding with mommy. First of all, Gabe's been doing that since he was like two, okay? And he's just, he was so into cars when he was little. Yeah. So, yeah. he didn't get that from me. Listen, me I look. Uh, me and Gabe, we look at the speedometer, right? We go fast. It's cool. With you, he looks at you the gas You go fast? Meter. Yeah. He done told on himself. Yeah. See that? So, after all that, right, all that gas talk, right? You took you took the car, right? You I didn't did. take the van. All right. And it needed I gas. I ended up taking the car because he said, you got enough gas to get to ride it in back. Yeah, and it needed gas. Did you put gas in it? <laughs> No, I didn't put gas in it. No, did the world end? <laughs> I didn't say the world's gonna end. Did you break down? <laughs> no, I didn't. Did the gaslight come the on? The gaslight is not on, but it is so close. You're gonna need to get gas tomorrow. I'm getting gas tomorrow, but we're, we're running some extra errands today. I gotta go pick up Gabe at school, and I'm not getting gas when I go pick up Gabe. You have to get gas! Did, did you see Worry just washed <laughs> over her face like, oh my god. Cause I'm thinking he, like, alright. He's gonna run out of gas. <laughs> It just was like... Okay, hold on. There is no way that we're gonna manage to get Gabe and then go where we're going after we get Gabe with that little bit of gas. What's gonna happen? I, I ain't gonna be in there. <laughs> you gonna buy yourself? <laughs>